Hi, Jorge. This is Dora. It was so nice talking to you. And this is the video that I was talking about. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I hope is help are hopeful. <laughs> I can't talk. I hope are helpful for you. That was a tongue twister. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start right away. So first of all, what I normally do is just look to see what kind of competition a company has. And of course, in Salt Lake, you've got quite a bit. So your company, um, ideally, you would want to be in this map pack right here. So these companies are the ones that tend to get most of the business just because they're right here, um, they're fast and they're easy, and that's just what people like. They just want to be able to click and go, right? So anyway, the, you can get into the map pack as well. So just make sure that your Google business page is completely optimized and updated and make sure you have a, just plenty of optimized pictures on there as well. And then also, you'll want to go ahead and get as many citations as you can. So you can get those just by making sure that you get your business name, um, address, phone number, exactly like you have it on your Google business page, and get those into as many directories as you can, like, you know, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Yelp, Thumbtack. I mean, there's tons of them out there. But just get your information into those, and that will help you to rank in the map pack. So then we have the organic search results down below. And these are almost all directories of some sort right here. Ideally, you would want to be up above those directories, um, but it looks like your main competitor is um, LL Flooring Lumber Liquidators. So I'm going to compare with them. Even though they are a national company, I'm just going to compare their local store with what you have, just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So anyway, here is your website. It is very nice looking. It flows really well too. I mean, it just looks good. The one thing I would recommend would be to have more content on your website. So when Google sends their crawlers out to look at your site, they read it to check and see if the information is relevant. And then they also count how many words you have. Right now, in order to get onto the first page of Google and stay there, you do need to have about 1,500 words of content. So that's something you, you might want to do. It would be helpful, and it wouldn't take long to do that. Um, I would also make this a clickable phone number, just because people are on their cell phones a lot, and it's just easier for them just to be able to click and go rather than try to you know, remember the phone number and go back and forth to their phone app. So let's also look at your competitor site. So your site, I have to say, is much, much prettier. Um, these guys do have a bit more content on their site, but not a lot more. So it wouldn't be hard to start overcoming them um, on the uh, on Google. Sorry about that. If you just were to add that content, that would start you on your way. So this is a program called AREFs, and it just shows a little bit about what's going on with your website. So right now you have a domain rating, which is the power of your site at a zero. Your URL rating is your trust with Google, and that's a zero right now also. Now these numbers will come up as you add backlinks. As you add backlinks, referring domains go up because they're linked together. So a backlink just means that somebody else has you know, written a post um, to, maybe they've put it on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it might be, but they have put a link back to your business on that post. So that's a backlink. They are not all created equal by any means, so you're much better off getting the ones that have as much power as you can um, and as much trust as you can. So right now, you know, you've got this one. It's got a, a power of 27. I mean, it's on the low side, but it's great. It's, I mean, you've got one. That's good. Um, and then the URL, the UR rating is a 3.8, which is good. So... Anyway, I'm going to go through a little bit more and show you um, how you can get some more of those backlinks yourself. So first of all, we're going to talk about keywords, though. So keywords are very important with your website. You need to have keywords in order for people to reach your site. So when you add those 1,500 words of content, you're going to use the keywords that are important to you. You know, maybe you have a specific flooring that you really like, or maybe, you know, a, another product, or maybe you want to work into tile. I mean, there's all kinds of things, but you want to make sure you have the keyword for that. So let's look at Lumber Liquidators. Now, this is deceiving their power rating, the, the domain rating, just because it is a national company. So this is for everyone, the 68. It's probably closer to the 2.6 like this is. Um, but they do have 33 backlinks right now. 
and I am going to list them this way. So as you can see, they all have their own domain rating and their, their own URL rating. And your competitors um, have, as you know, they usually have quite a few. You can look at all your competitors, not just one. There are other programs available that you can use that aren't quite as expensive as this one is. But you can click on each one of these and add them. Uh, you just say, hey, I, you know, you, you put your information in. Some of them you have to request an ad. Some of them you have to pay for, but not very many. Um, and then as you add all of these backlinks that you have from your client or from your um, competition, then you're going to have more than they have and you're going to be able to outrank them on Google. So make sure that when you do choose them, you take the ones that are the higher power. You know, I would start with 50 and, and up and just click and go. And I know it's tedious and it takes time, but it can be done. So let's also look at the keywords. So this will help me just a little bit. So they have quite a few keywords. And so, you know, flooring in Salt Lake people, 200 people look for that every month. So if you were able to rank in a top position, uh, you would be able to pull in traffic from that every month. As you can say, they are getting 51 people reaching out to them because they're number two. Um, hardwood flooring, Salt Lake City, they've got 250 people looking every month. They're number two. So they've got 37 people reaching out to them. So basically, you just have to look at the traffic as though these are people that are calling or, or filling out a form and submitting it. And you look at the volume as how many there are. And I just want to give you an idea. Now, I know you're not going to be exactly the same as they are, but look at the volume that's available for people that are looking for exactly what you do. I mean, it's huge. So you have a great potential of pulling in quite a lot more business just by um, utilizing your website a bit more, add that content, add those keywords, get those backlinks, and then work on your Google business page and you should be just fine. So thanks a lot. I hope this was helpful.